I just returned from Miami where I obtained my Paddy open water diving license. It required three full days of diving plus many online courses in order to get certified. These courses and all the rental gear set me back around 600 bucks. Oh my god, today is gorgeous, guys. After learning the scuba basics in the pool on the first day, we joined a large diving boat on the second day. All right, so we're gonna put the DCD <laughs> on the cylinder. Come check this out. So this is the inflation fest. This will uh, make sure you, you float and you go down. We're gonna hang this on the actual cylinder. Make sure it's nice and tight. And headed towards the famous Molasses Reef scuba diving site. We dove to a depth of 42 feet, around 12 meters, navigating through gorgeous coral reefs and ocean life. The ocean was quite wild, causing many people on the boat to get seasick and throw up. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on to me. Back up, back up, back up. There you go. Lean all the way back now. Whew. And you're back. So exhausting. The hardest part must have been crunching these dive tables. Probably ending pressure group after the second dive beam. Which help you avoid decompression sickness. DCS is a serious illness caused by nitrogen bubbles forming in the bloodstream by moving up too fast from deep water to the surface. Diving is a pretty expensive hobby. I mean, look at these prices for just a regular BDC kit. Getting prepared for diving is a lot of effort. It took a lot of time to pack these bags. And these bags contain everything from dry suits to fins to the BCD and their Heavy as shit. On the final day of our diving courses, we went to Emerald Lake. This dive site is called the Jules Undersea Lodge. Are you guys excited? Very. Which contains the underwater hotel, a true hidden gem in the Miami area. Although the water isn't that clear, it is still worth visiting. The underwater room rates start at $150 per person for a 3 hour stay. And knowing how to dive is an absolute requirement to get to your room. Since the hotel is located at a depth of 21 feet, around 6.4 meters. So this is the underwater hotel. 20 feet. 20, 20 feet. During this dive, we encountered a school of fish, this cute little jellyfish, and a curious Mr. Lobster. We just finished a fantastic dive. Our last dive before we're getting certified. Hopefully uh, we did a good job. And they have pizza delivery as well. So what they will do is they will pack up a pizza and swim towards your hotel room and deliver it to you. I can now proudly say I'm a Patty open water diver. And you may wonder, was it worth it? Yes, absolutely. But it wasn't easy. Ah! These are really sharp, razor sharp. Man, I would not want to be eaten by a shark. Good Mr. Shark. As a bonus, I recommend diving to the Neptune Memorial Reef, another hidden gem just off the coast of Miami. So as you can see, they have some crazy iguanas here. So make sure you not dive underneath it, because it, it may jump right onto you and bite you in the ear. I got my eye on you! And that's it for this episode. Now make sure to slap my subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you will never miss an update. Oh, and if you're considering of becoming a patty open water diver as well in Miami and you want to know more, then check the description box below with all my advice and how to save lots of money on getting certified. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you... <laughs>